is not the way of the cross the way of every person's life doesn't every life have suffering falls hurts rejections condemnations death burial and resurrection mary the mother of jesus made that first way of the cross we follow the mother of jesus as she walks the road to calvary where jesus was crucified emphasizing her sense of surrender i knew it had to be so i walked on silently let's enter an intimate journey of faith through a deep reflection that will unite our pain and suffering with jesus on the cross through the sorrowful heart of mary we dive deeper and deeper into the sufferings of christ so that we might come out of this spiritual journey with an appreciation of christ did for us and a deeper love for him and for our brothers and sisters father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen o most holy virgin mother of our lord jesus christ by the overwhelming grief you experienced when you witnessed the passion and death of your divine son look upon me with eyes of compassion and awaken in my heart a tender sympathy for those sufferings as well as a sincere repentance of my sins let all my thoughts and all my actions may be directed towards the honor glory and love of our lord jesus and to you the holy and immaculate mother of god amen the first station jesus is condemned to die we adore you o christ and we praise you 
because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world it was early friday morning when i saw my son that was the first glimpse i had of him since they took him away his bruised and bleeding skin sent a sword of pain deep into my heart and tears down my cheeks then pilot from his chair of judgment asks the crowd why they wanted my son executed all around me they shouted crucify him i wanted to plead with them to stop but i knew this had to be so i stood by and cried silently lord jesus it is hard for me to imagine the anguish your mother felt at your condemnation but what about today when i hold a grudge crucify him when i judge others crucify him doesn't this bring tears of anguish to both you and your mother forgive me jesus have mercy on us o lord have mercy on us the second station jesus takes his cross we adore you o christ and we praise you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world regaining a little strength i walked with the crowds to the entrance of the square a door flew open and my son stumbled out the guards laughing behind him two men dragged over a heavy wooden cross and dropped it on his shoulders then they shoved him down the road my pain for him was unbearable i wanted to take the cross from him and carry it myself but i knew this had to be so i walked on silently lord jesus I beg you to forgive me for the many times I have added more weight to your cross by closing my eyes to the pain and loneliness of my neighbor forgive me for gossiping about others and for always trying to find excuses to avoid certain people who wish to talk with me help me to be like mary always seeking to lighten the crosses of others forgive me jesus have mercy on us o lord have mercy on us the third station jesus falls the first time we adore you o christ and we praise you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world i followed close behind my son as he stumbled towards calvary nothing had ever hurt me more than to see him in such pain i saw the cross digging into his shoulders My heart dropped when I saw him fall face to the ground. The heavy cross landing squarely on his back. 
for a moment i thought my beloved son was dead now my whole body began to tremble then the guards kicked him he rose slowly and began to walk again yet they still whipped him i wanted to protect him with my own body but i knew this had to be so i walked on and wept silently lord how often have i seen you fall and unlike mary have left you there without concern how often have i seen people make mistakes and laughed at them how often do i find myself getting angry when someone does things differently than i mary offered you her support through your entire passion help me to do the same for you by the support i give to others lord have mercy on me have mercy on us o lord have mercy on us the fourth station jesus meets his grieving mother we adore you o christ and we praise you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world i had managed to break through the crowd and was walking side by side with my son i called to him through the shouting voices he stopped our eyes met mine full of tears of anguish his full of pain and confusion i felt helpless then his eyes said to me courage there is a purpose for this as he stumbled on i knew he was right so i followed and prayed silently Lord Jesus forgive me the many times our eyes met and i turned mine away forgive me the times things did not go my way and i let everyone know about it forgive me the times i brooded over little inconveniences or became discouraged and did not heed your call to courage yes lord our eyes have met many times but fruitlessly have mercy on us o lord have mercy on us station Simon helps Jesus carry his cross We adore you Christ and we praise you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world I could now see almost complete helplessness on the face of my son as he tried to carry his heavy load Each step looked as if it would be his last i felt his every 
pain in my heart and i wanted the whole thing to end then i noticed some commotion near jesus the guards had pulled a protesting man from the crowd they forced him to pick up the back of the cross to help lighten my son's load he asked the guards why they had to be i knew and so followed silently lord jesus i have many times refused to help you i have been a selfish person who has often questioned your word don't let me remain like simon but help me to be like your mother mary who always silently followed and obeyed have mercy on us o lord have mercy on us the sixth station veronica wipes the face of jesus we adore you o christ and we praise you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world as i continued close by jesus a woman pushed past the guards took off her veil and began to wipe my son's sweating bloody face the guards immediately pulled her back her face seemed to say why are you doing this to him i knew so i walked in faith silently lord this woman gave you the best she could on the other hand i have wanted to take more than i give so many opportunities arise every day for me to give to you by giving to others but i pass them by my savior never let me ask why again but help me to give all i have to you have mercy on us o lord have mercy on us the seventh station jesus falls the second time we adore you o christ and we praise you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world again my son fell and again my grief was overwhelming at the thought that he might die i started to move towards him but the soldiers prevented me he rose and stumbled ahead slowly seeing my son fall get up again and continue on was bitter anguish for me but since i knew this had to be i walked on silently lord of all people mary was your most faithful follower never stopping in spite of all the pain she felt for you i have many times turned away from you by my sins and have caused others to turn away from you i beg you to have mercy on me have mercy on us o lord have mercy on us the eighth station jesus speaks to the woman we adore you o christ and we praise you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world i was walking 
a few steps behind Jesus when I saw him stop. Some women were there crying for him and pitying him. He told them not to shed tears for him. They had the opportunity to accept him as the Messiah. Like many others, they rejected him instead. He told them to shed tears for themselves, tears that would bring their conversion. They did not see the connection between that and his walk to death. I did, and as he walked on, I followed silently. My Saviour, many times have I acted like these women, always seeing the faults of others and pitying them. Yet, very rarely have I seen my own sinfulness and asked your pardon. Lord, you have taught me through these women. Forgive me, Lord, for my blindness. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. station, Jesus falls the third time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. This fall of Jesus was agony to me. Not only had he fallen on the rocky ground again, but now he was almost at the top of the hill of crucifixion. The soldiers screamed at him and abused him, almost dragging him the last few steps. My heart pounded as I imagined what they would do to him next. But I knew this had to be. So I climbed the hill silently behind him. My loving Jesus, I know that many times I have offered my hand to help people, but when it became inconvenient or painful to me, I left them, making excuses for myself. Help me, Lord, to be like your mother, Mary, and never take my supporting hand away from those who need it. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. The tenth station. Jesus is stripped of his garments. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. With my son finally relieved of the weight of the cross, I thought he would have a chance to rest. But the guards immediately 
started to rip his clothes off his blood clotted skin the sight of my son in such pain was unbearable yet since i knew this had to be i stood by and cried silently lord in my own way i too have stripped you i have taken away the good name of another by foolish talk and have stripped people of human dignity by my prejudice jesus there are so many ways i have offended you through the hurt i have caused others help me to see you in all people have mercy on us o lord have mercy on us the 11th station jesus is nailed to the cross we adore you o christ and we praise you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world as they threw jesus on the cross he willingly allowed himself to be nailed as they punctured his hands and his feet i felt the pain in my heart then they lifted up the cross there he was my son whom i love so much being scorned as he struggled for the few moments of earthly life but i knew this had to be so i stood by and prayed silently lord what pain you endured for me and what pain your mother went through seeing her only son die for love of me yet both you and she are ready to forgive me as soon as i repent of my sin help me lord to turn away from my sinfulness have mercy on us o lord have mercy on us the 12th station jesus dies on the cross we adore you o christ and we praise you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world What greater pain is there for a mother than to see her son die right before her eyes I who had brought this savior into the world and watched him grow stood helplessly beneath his cross as he lowered his head and died His earthly anguish was finished but mine was greater than ever yet this had to be and I had to accept it so I stood by and I moaned silently My Jesus have mercy on me for what my sins have done to you and to others I thank you for your great act of love you have said that true love is laying down your life for your friends let me always be your friend teach me to live my life for others and not fail you again Have mercy on us O oh Lord Have mercy on us
station Jesus is taken from the cross we adore you O Christ and we praise you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world the crowd had gone the noise had stopped I stood quietly with one of Jesus's friends and looked up at the dead body of our Savior, my son. Then two men took the body from the cross and placed it in my arms. A deep sorrow engulfed my being, yet I also felt deep joy. Life had ended cruelly for my son. But it had also brought life to all of us. I knew this had to be and I prayed silently. Lord, your passion has ended, yet it still goes on. Whenever I choose sin over you, I have done my part in your crucifixion and now my Savior I beg your forgiveness with all my heart help me to live a life worthy of you and your mother have mercy on us O Lord have mercy on us the 14th station Jesus is placed in the tomb. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. We brought Jesus' body to the tomb and I arranged it there myself, silently weeping, silently rejoicing. I took one more look at my loving son and then walked out. They closed the tomb and before I left I thought I knew this had to be. It had to be for you. I would wait in faith silently. Yes, my Lord, this had to be because you love me and for no other reason. All you ask is that I live a good life. You never said such a life would be easy. I am willing to leave sin behind and live for you alone in my brothers and sisters. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. Let us pray. Father, you willed that Mary be at the foot of the cross, sharing in the sacrifice of your Son. Grant that through her intercession, we may bear within ourselves the image of Christ crucified and risen and spend ourselves with untiring charity for the good of our brothers and sisters through Christ our Lord Amen let us say one our Father one Hail Mary for the intentions of the Holy Father our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall, be world without end. Amen. This is the Holy Cross that saved the world from eternal damnation. It is only through this cross that we can be saved. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. It was all.